Hello and welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival. My name is Spanger. Welcome back to Star Salvage. Now we're going to start off today's episode with a little bit of base building. So like I said in the last episode, we're going to build a little base section here, as you can see. And this is going to basically be our farm. So um, I think it's just two plots of nine will do. Put the grow lights there and stuff and that's sorted that out. I've also put down some water generators out here so that I can actually start getting some water out of them because a lot of the recipes need water. A ramshackle healing device as well so we can top up our health. And then we're going to start building an SV. And I know. I know what you're going to say. Because you've already said it. This game isn't... This this mod, sorry, isn't about building, Sponge. It's about salvaging and restoring and, and going through the pains of... Finding a ship and restoring it yourself. You can't you can't just build like like that. This is an outrage. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I'm building an SV and you can't stop me. That's right. But not only that, I'm gonna build an SV here. Uh well, that's a little perhaps um asymmetrical. A little bit of a challenge, maybe. Uh, but yeah, we've got a warp drive, guys. We've got a warp drive, and I want to put that warp drive to act to, to use, um, which is why getting an existing SV might be slightly difficult, unless it's that like big giant one, you know. Um, so let's just stick with maybe one we can build ourselves, because so much more control over that compared to uh, a salvage one, which may be too small or too heavy. It may be built of hardened steel or something ridiculous like that. Uh, at least if I build my own one, I can make sure that it's got the bits that I want in it. It's got the weapons that I want on it and it flies, you know, kind of a big deal with an SV, right? Anyway, so I thought I'd go for something, like I say, asymmetrical, a little bit junky looking, a little bit like haphazard, like it's got different bits st stuck on it and all over the place and stuff like that. So it's been a while since I've built an SV, put it that way. But, uh, you know, I'm reasonably happy with how it's turned out in the end. And there's still um, some things I need to do to it, though. One of which is its CPU. And, well, it, it needs a T2, or sorry, a T1 CPU extension. But the scrap guys don't sell them. They only buy them. So I thought, well, let's go to Polaris and see if we can get the Neo. But the Neo is crazy expensive. To get 10, well, here we don't have enough. But I can get the Cobalt and Titanium at least, and then maybe we could look at getting the Flux Coil some other way. So I headed back over to that crashed CV that we found a little while ago. Remember the thruster? Yeah. Well, let's see if we can take that off, and maybe it will have a Flux Coil inside it. Oh, you bastard. One bloody flux coil. Yeah, the CPU extension for an SV requires two flux coils. So, yeah, there's that. I don't have enough money to buy even the 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 adenium required for one flux coil. So, there we go. There goes that plan. All one flux coil short of our extender there, which means our brand new SV won't fly. Well, not yet, anyway. So I've been around the world, so I think it's time that we go north to south and see if there's anything we can find that way. If we can find another crash CV, uh, like a good one, then we might be able to get the either the Neo that we need, or the flux coils themselves, in order to get our T2 extension. So we're back into the hover vessel, and let's go south, I guess. Well, we're going to have to be careful down here. There's a lot of Xerax about, so uh, we know that we can get within 400 meters of these things without them shooting at us. I'm assuming that it is a junk turret, and it does appear to be. So let's be cautious. At the same time, look at all the stuff they're guarding. There's also this icon in particular um, I'm interested in, because these ones could be the crash capital vessels, like the one we've already found. Um, let me just grab a snack. Just be very careful. Oh, there's another defense. 
the level three. And I'm assuming that thing that's the red and with no level near it is probably just a... Well, it's that, isn't it? That itself, which could be one of those... Uh, another old farm. We might be able to get some more roadblocks out of this, perhaps. If it is that. Stay away from that junk turret. Engine compartment. Okay, let's check this out. If there's an engine in said engine compartment, that would be great. I doubt there is. I think it's the shelter. Like the crash shuttle. Yeah, but it has got a nice solar panel on the roof. So let's check it out. Discarded pulse laser. Seeing that? We'll have to check that out as well. Okay, so this place... Um... This worked, turret. I guess. And you, look, it doesn't fire when I'm in it. Only when I'm out of it. <laughs> it's so strange, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm just going to leave that to do its thing. Um, let's see what we can find here. Maybe I can get some oxygen out of this tank. Yeah, a little bit. That's going to become useful when we actually go into, into space mine. So, um, right, let's, let's see if we can retrieve this. Yeah, we get some bits and bobs for it, don't we? Yeah, there are some grow plots here, look. Hang on then, let me put my little claim core here. Connect to our harvest repository. And pick up these two. Lovely, they're going to come handy. Oh, a med kit, very nice. Uh, we salvage these, we should hopefully get some electronics out of them. Which is always welcome. And then this goes out the other side. Now we have to be very careful here because we peek this corner. We might get shot by that guy. 274 meters. Highly possible we're in range. Um, <laughs> so uh, I think we're done here though. That's it, unfortunately. Not very good, but it's enough to start a base. In fairness, there's a grow light there. There we go. I think we got everything useful. Um, and that's it. I want to say there's a solar panel on the roof yes there is we'll definitely grab that because we're going to use those on our own base to increase the power and where's the solar capacitor that's what i want to know i've not found that yet okay hello oh crap i don't know how many went ammo for that only this guy oh big fella Really big fella. Look at how bloody giant these things are. But however, they potentially have very valuable resources in them. So let's take him out. What has he got? Promethean. Nice. Iron ore. <laughs> and then just slides along the ground. Casually. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me grab my core. And then let's go. And there was that pulse laser just around the corner, wasn't there? Just over there. By the small wreckage. Quick check of the map here. Looks like we've got some hover vessels. The pulse laser isn't coming up here. I don't know what's going on. Level one. Looks like maybe another salvage yard up ahead as well. Cheetah bike. Small wreckage. Dark. <laughs> They're dark. What happened to that pulse laser I saw? I don't see it anymore. Am I going mad? Um, okay. What happened to that? Just disappeared. Oh, there it is. It's over there. One of these guys. There's a little hay tree off to my right. Junk hover vessel. I'm really interested in the SVs now, to be honest. We can find an SV with a tier 2 extension, then we win. But otherwise, we just have to like try and build one ourselves. Okay, so this little grouping here is the discarded pulse laser. More wreckage. It's possible this guy will have a tier 2 in it. It's quite a good, quite a good one. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> so close. Get so far. 
<laughs> Power coil is a decent piece of kit, though. In fairness, nothing to grumble at that. Right. Let's take this apart. We've got things like graviton thrust drives here. Oh, SV constructors. Hello, fella. Ammo repositories, RCSs, and of course, thrusters. Let's dig a little deeper and we might find a tier 2 extension in here, possibly. But the more I look at this thing, the less likely I think that is. Bridges. Yeah. Get some oxygen out of this. We have a rocket drone, a rocket drone, and rocket drone we have. He did. There's a nice looking junk SV off to my left here. Let's uh, pick up these giblets and have a look at it. Giblets. Nice, Promethean for fuel. Good giblets. Uh oh. Nailed it. Okay, big junk hover vessel over there as well. I think that's worth a look. Let's see what we got here. This looks like a fairly big bird. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at that thruster on there. Oh, this might be a decent win. Ah, rocket launchers as well. Oh, hello. Beautiful beast. Okay, I think we got enough base for um, the thruster. Let's definitely grab that. Oh, I wish I had this when I, I built the freaking SV. <laughs> it's going to be one hell of a main freaking engine. Look at that beauty. Oh, yeah. Absolute beauty. Is it going to fit? I don't know. I hope so. It fits. It fits. It takes most of the room, but it fits. we got a pulse laser. Fabulous, because there's another pulse laser over there. A rocket launcher. I think it's switched on. It's powered on. Hold the phone. A coca. A woka? A woka? It has generators, and it has power and and what's its cpu stats it has only 5000 cpu which means it does not have a tier 2 extension which is a shame um i can't believe it's running <laughs> it's so rare to find one that actually runs that is quite remarkable uh we've got lots of boxes and stuff oh silicon ore you naughty naughty girl uh components please give me a flux coil Please, oh, please, oh, please give me a flux coil. <laughs> I want to fly. No. Gonna be a grumpy bastard. Um, alright. Fine. Uh, well, we might as well salvage the good bits out of this then, I guess. And then maybe that... Oh, where the hell are the generators and stuff? They must be in the roof or something? It is a chunky boy. It is a chunky, chunky boy. Okay. There's some good stuff here. But uh, I think most of it is going to have to be salvage. Look at all those engines, man. Yikes. Possible. I I wonder if the big large jet thruster that we just salvaged... I, I, I took the whole thing. But I wonder if I place it back down again and salvage it, if I'd get that flux coil. Is it... Is it actually got a flux coil in it? I'd have to check a constructor. But I'm not going to use that big jet thruster, not for a long time. You think about it, it's not going to go on my current ship. Too big. And I didn't build it with that in consideration. Okay, here's the plan. Let's see. There it is. Let's put it down. Okay, there we go. And this is going to hurt. <laughs> it feels so wrong doing this, but at the same time... I feel like this might be the flux cool we're looking for. I do need a better multi-tool. I do need a better multi-tool. We get better, more stuff out of a better multi-tool. Here we go. Nano, carbon, multi-engineering components. No flux coil! Brick! <laughs> I feel like I just got robbed. Robbed hard. Damn it. Ah. Uh, screw it. All right, well, let's get the rest of this stuff then, I guess. Oh, shit. Under attack. Oh, God. Missed. I missed the window. Oh, boy. Surprise rocket drone. Let's 
busy attacking the SV. It's got one. It's got my core there. <laughs> that was lucky. Oh, you little cheeky bugger! Where did you come from, eh? All right. Took a, you took a hit to the nose, didn't we? But um, I'm I'm not seeing any damage. How did we get away with that? <laughs> I don't even know. I'll take it. Whatever. Um, I just need the core out of that ship. I think we're pretty much done with it. I got a lot. Of, you can feel how slow the hover vessel's moving now. It's full of juice. There's a lot of juice, and there was a lot of juice in this ship. So many thrusters. Really, so many thrusters. Um, generators, fuel tanks throughout. So I figure a lot of this stuff, like the thrusters and stuff, we could probably sell. Perhaps we can sell, and we can go and buy the rest of the Neo uh, that we need from the Polaris. Very expensive way of doing this, but I fear it will probably be quicker than trying to find... A flux coil. <laughs> I honestly think it's quicker than. Uh, yeah. There are other SVs around. There are other SVs around. Still, I think we need to offload some of this to the uh, the salvage people. I've forgotten what they're called. I just entered their territory as well. I didn't. I didn't look to see what it was. Um. Yeah. Sell what we've got to these guys, and see if a we can lighten up the load of this thing. B make enough money to buy the flux coil on our way to Polaris assuming we can sell all this stuff we can stop by those couple of SVs that's a junk cannon is that all that's there I thought it'd be another salvage yard maybe we have to go all the way back up then damn it um, these SVs seem really close to these defense turrets my only concern and another rocket drone good okay lovely more wreckages yeah See if we can get close enough to this SV. It's worth popping in. See if they do have something before we run up to this salvage yard and uh, sell our wares. This thing is moving so slow. So slow. I wonder why. We just crashed into a rock. Maybe that has something to do with it. Oh, well, well, look at what we just found another one of. Interesting. 390 meters from that thing. Let's stay away from it, shall we? All right, uh, this looks slightly in a worse way. It doesn't have. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm just making my. Yeah, it does look, have the big engine there. Has the big engine. OK, now I don't think this thing has. Uh... I mean, the last one we looked at didn't, from what I could tell, have any kind of core or extension or anything. There's one quick thing that we can do. Let's slap a core on it. Turn it off because it blows itself up. And have a look at the device signal logic. Yeah, see? Here one. Yeah, and it's being attacked. Why can't I pick this up? Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, turn the hover vessel off, not the air. Uh, <laughs> not the ship. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh dear. Wrong button. Yeah, okay. So, do you think it's worth salvaging that engine and seeing if we get a flux cord out of that? Uh, or just get the hell out of here, sell what we can, and buy the damn Neo? Well, I gotta say, I think that's probably the better of the two options. I am full anyway, so this thing moves at snail's pace. As you can see, 22 meters per second is our top speed 23 oh 30 hmm. that's positively bristling right here we go then let's go we're going to the salvage yard up here and let's see if we can um sell our wares make enough buy the neo the very expensive neo all righty sell time it's time to sell it's time to sell wow he doesn't want any of that um, I mean, yeah, I'm on the hover, hover bit. Is that what's going on here? Maybe uh, I just need to go a bit down to... Yeah, these are whole hover extensions. We've got SV bits. This is what we want. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, we're 18 of 18. We just maxed them out on small thrusters. And that's all the mediums. We're up to 20 grand. That's looking a little healthier. 
We've got descent and lift thrusters, and I don't think he buys those. Still, RCS, mobile constructor, mm, fridge. I'm sure I've gone past that. Maybe not. Uh oh. Maybe not the fridge. Small generators? Yeah. Well, I guess we did our best. Uh, so that does mean, though, we have 22,000 credits. I hope that's enough. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I hope that's enough. We'll, um, we'll go and find out. We will go and find out. I might stop at the base and get some food first, though, because uh, I am hungry and I am nearly out of emergency rations from my survival constructor. Ooh, 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 wait, 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 I just saw... An ice golem. I'm gonna murder him. Because if he's got Neo ore on him... Well, Cobalt ore. Not bad. Two, though. Not a thing I can do about that. But if I see any more of these ice golems loitering around, they are going to get murdered. And I am going to take their giblets, and I am going to see what I can do with them. Hey, there's some good news, though. Using the spoiled food and stuff that I already had, plus some water, which, you know, I'm getting from the lake nearby, I have 15 row plots. That's more than enough to fill my gun. Fantastic. Now then, I just need to make sure the temperature is good in here. Which it is. It is. Um... But generally, I like to put a ventilator in here anyway, just in case you get some horribleness like um, radiation storms and whatnot. And that does mean we need to place down an O2 tank, which we do actually have. Look at that. And uh, a ventilator, which again, we do actually have. We've got the grow lights on there. And under misc, I have some corn and berries and um, some coffee. I'm not particularly enthusiastic about the coffee. The corn is good. Um, now, in terms of the other stuff that we could possibly make, uh, mushrooms would be a good shout, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can get, like, ooh, maybe not that many. <laughs> that would be a lot of mushrooms. Um, we got wheat. We got corn. Uh, aloe. Yeah, we'll get a couple of aloes. Mushrooms and more coffee. Okay. Well, if we can get things like spice and vegetables... That would be good. Um, buds as well. Pentaxid. Oh, that's good to see. Thought that was just a uh, reforged sneaky, sneaky beaky, but apparently not. It's all here in Star Salvage as well. Grow your own Pentaxid. Screw the universe. I might actually have to do that, to be honest, thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Bit short on that old Pentaxid. Um, right, so O2 tank, I guess. We'll slap you there for now. It doesn't really matter too much. Mm, parts? No. Misc, please. We've got some oxygen in there. Oh, look at that. You beautiful, beautiful boy. All right, and then we press the old oxygen button. Make it happen, good sir. I tell you, one other thing I do want to check is, do we have enough yet to build... Hmm. You know what? I haven't even unlocked it. Do we have enough to unlock <laughs> um, a junk turret for our base? Junk cannon turret. Oh, wait. We've been over this before, haven't we? There is no junk turret for the base. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That would be far too simple and easy. Okay, so defense of the base will have to be very proactive. At least until we can get into combat specialization, which I am, I'm not sure. Possible we can do specialization number two. Activate. Select a character advancement. Oh, here we go. You are now allowed to select an additional specialization to unlock. Alternatively, you may gain 500 UP to help you unlock devices in your existing specialization. Hmm. <laughs> it's very tempting, isn't it? <laughs> Combat! <laughs> Thank you. Let's kick some alien butt. Yes! Okay. Right. So that means then... Oh, hello there. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, 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 yep. Delicious. Delicious. Right. So this guy is... What is this? SVs and HVs. SVs and HVs. Uh, so this is what we want here. Sentry guns. Yas. Okay. Here we go. How many points have we got? 175. Let's just do it. Projectile turrets. What? 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 Oh, that's a CV. And that's a base. Okay. 
There we go. We can actually get light shields as well. HV, SV. Oh, let's get an SV one. Combat armor. An armor plate of combat steel to be affixed to a small vessel to provide additional protection. 500 hit points. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, hull shield modulator. Nice. Extra shielding. That's very nice. Okay. Hellstorm missile turret. I actually have one of these in the little intro bit. I uh, slapped it on the bottom of the Leviathan and went and ruffle stomped some uh, POIs. It was, it was particularly fun. A uh, bit of equipment, that is. But that's quite far away with the old... Mm -hmm, what's that? 5 million CPU. Yeah, no problem. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> uh, maybe not. Okay, well, that's good. Personal combat as well. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Universal cartridge. A cartridge made of various materials that a weapon utilizing Unicart technology can use to fabricate the relevant ammunition. Ooh! Is that all this stuff here? Uh, sniper rifle round. Uh, rock projectile. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Wait, so, so what weapons use this? I don't know. Uh, we'll find it. We'll find it. Hellfire rocket launcher. Heavy sniper. Mm -mm -mm. I love that the epic sniper is something we can actually craft. That's pretty dope. Sniper upgrade kit 3. Sniper T2 1. And Sathian plates. All right. And it can be repaired. Ah, ah, okay. Um, well, in the short term, let's just get a sniper rifle and a rocket launcher. <laughs> and damage charges. Of course. Light, light combat armor? Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It'll be fine. Okay. Uh, so resource gathering. I probably want um, a drill by now. They come in useful. We can get Promethean packs, although I'm not really getting any Promethean. What I do want is dual turrets. We want to get a multi turret on our hover vessel. Um, although, yeah, that's placeable HV. That's good. But we're not anywhere near level 15 yet. So we may as well wait and save up the points, right? Okay, let's go ahead and plant these bloody crops before I get distracted by some other shinies along the way. Uh, okay, so we go four. Let's just fill this plot up with the nonsense that we've got here. There we go. So corn, coffee, and berries. Sounds great, doesn't it? Um, parts. Do we? Oh no, not parts. Fridge. Fridge. Aloe. Mushrooms. That was it, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. Um, a little aloe there hello 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 right i don't think we need six mushrooms three or two um oh look i've got some spider egg soup delicious we got cooked bug meat oh delightful you know when i get the freaking sham chowder wait wrong game um <laughs> dino <Du> royale <laughs> yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be good isn't it uh spider egg soup 75 health though not bad for a healy thing. All right, there we go. So we, we topped up on food. I've planted some crops, but uh, if I can find some other vendor that does crops, then I will be a happy boy. Let's um, let's turn the grow lights on. This just chunks a little bit more energy. That's the problem with it. And our battery is forever empty. What is the point of solar in this game? I mean, there's a very good point for solar in reality, but what is the point of solar in this game? Okay, well, I'll tell you what, while we're here as well then, uh, I wasn't planning to do this, but let us slap another solar panel on the base. Hmm. Um, um, hmm. This is the um and the R and the um and the R and. Can I just slap it, you do that? Why, 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 why not? Why not? No empty space, because there's a brick in the way. Okay. You know what? No. No. I am going to connect to base. I'm going to have it nicely placed. Right. Over here. As if it is intentional. Not on its own. Look. On its little leggies. There we go. Fantastic. How inefficient it is right now. But I don't care. Alright. Fine. Let's go and meet with Polaris. Let's see if... Uh, if we can make some money off those. I've got 3,000 steel plates, dudes. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Five gold. One second. I wonder if there's a sneaky way we can make a little bit extra cash here. Five gold. Give me an ingot, please. 
put that in crafting. Thanks. Now make me gold. That outputs five gold coins to one ingot. That seems crap. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. That seems like crap. Never mind. Let's just go. All right, Mr. Fancy Pants Trader, dude. I want 10 of your finest neodymiums. Gibbs. Excellent. I didn't need 10. Actually, I only needed five because I've already got one of the flux coils. Never mind. We spent a lot of money for no reason whatsoever. Hmm. Hmm. Build one or just buy one? <laughs> Yeah, it was going to happen. Okay. Let's go. Back to base. It's happening. We are going to have CPU, baby. Boom. Boom. Ish. Boom ish. Boo. Where's my. There it is. Gotta be. Textured and colored and painted in all the right places, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be what it is it's gonna be Right, there we go. Oh my god. Have we done it? I think we might have you know guys We might have actually done it <laughs> uh, You all called me mad you said I was mad For wanting to build my own SV in a in a game about salvaging stuff. Haha, <laughs> I showed you. All right power on Lifts off beautifully. Generator is good. Power is fantastic. And we are flying. <laughs> yes, baby, yes. Come on. This thing handles like a dream as well for an asymmetrical piece of crap. It's excellent. Okay, we haven't got any cargo in it yet. But, uh, you know, it's only a matter of time. Okay, one other thing I need to do real quick is set the turret to not target predators. Otherwise, we're going to waste a lot of ammunition as we fly over. Still, that's pretty dope skis. Oh, blinding, blinding spotlights. There we are. <laughs> I still don't know why I think about the look of this thing, but um, I'm going for a ramshackle kind of flung together look, and I think it, uh, I think it achieves. Oh, look, some of my thrusters are red. And some of them are blue. I forgot you could colour them now. Actually, do you know what? I kind of like the fact that it looks like they're all different types of thrusters. Um, fantastic. We have, we have, we have achieved flight, ladies and gentlemen. We actually achieved flight. Can't really believe it, but this is a massive step. This is huge. We are airborne and we are travelling at 69. The perfect speed, I might say. Meters per second. The perfect amount of meters per second. All 69 of them. Let's do a little flyby past this little piece of poop, skis. <laughs> I've been like poking the Xerox. <laughs> it's just a little poke. Little poke. Yeah. You gotta get me. You gotta get me. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Um, well, I suppose it is time to perhaps scout the rest of the LO. Large plasma drone. Plasma drone. Large plasma drone. Two large plasma drones and a plasma drone. What are they guarding? What are they protecting? What are they? Hmm. Sus. I am sus. And therefore, we must kill. We must kill them all. Burn them. Destroy them. Have at them. Have them. Maul them. Decimate them. You don't know what you're you're starting here, Zidaxian scumbags. They have weapons. I have specialized in combat. And you are all now dead at the bottom of the ocean. That's a broken engine. Hmm, I wonder. If only we found this like, you know, an hour ago. <laughs> we might have had that flux coil. <laughs> right, a uh, little bit of um Hmm. Let's see if I can do this, because uh, I think I'm going to need to go for a swim, because I don't think the old drone is going to be able to pick... Ah, oh, look at that, you cheeky bastard. First freaking drone, flux coil. You know this is going to happen now. All the flux coils are going to come out of the woodwork, and I spent a crap load of money on something I didn't need. 
Well, I did, because, you know, I probably wouldn't have found these drones if I didn't have the ship, so. Yul! Fantastic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't lower the ship enough. Jetpack! Nailed it. Okay, where's that other drone? Right there. And then there's the broken engine. Okay, no problem. This is working lovely, guys. This is working really great. You know? Yes, yes, I know. I, I didn't salvage it. I just want to check if I can pick that up with a drone. I can! Going for a swim was unnecessary, but enjoyable nonetheless. Okay, broken engine. Let's have a little look-see at this. Is this the one with the freaking XL thruster on it? It can't be. Taking a little dip. Fine. Have a little... Oh, bloody is as well. Look at this knob. <laughs> oh, you son of a bean. No wonder there was a bunch of drones guarding it. That is a beast, plus an RCS. I don't have the equipment to take that stuff, but uh, I could probably salvage the bits and get some nice stuff out of it. It's such a shame because it's such a monster of a of a, pe of a of a piece of equipment. You know, look at this plasma charge SV. This is beautiful. Okay, let's get it because. I'm not going to be able to use the XL thruster. A, that thing has got too much CPU to even, like, consider using it on a starship. Why, why can't I... There we go, it does work. There we go, it just doesn't have a hologram for some reason. Uh, and B, I don't have the storage to hold it. So we are going salvage, which I know, I know. It's horrendous, isn't it? I know, but uh, this is a lot of hit points. Uh, it's going to take a while. Almost there. Bingo. We got it. And we got a bunch of stuff there. Valuable stuff. Descosium. Power coils. Engineering components. Oh, here's something. Right. Um, may have forgotten to put a fridge on this thing. No problem. I did leave an extra base on the ship. Just for that very reason. Uh, but, but everybody's saying, Oh, don't forget, put your components in the fridge. I didn't realize this. I actually spoke to Know It All DM about this and he sort of explained the situation. But yeah, components will degrade. They have a spoil and degrade time. Look, four minutes. They don't last long. But then they go into scrap. If they go into scrap, then you can. They, they basically use for anything under the salvaging tree here. So you can still make junk stuff, essentially, with the scrap. But yeah, I think if uh, if you want to build the, f the fancy stuff, the fancy stuff, it requires engineering components. But he also said that you can make engineering components with engineering scrap anyway. So even if it does turn into scrap, it's still useful and you can still build stuff. For now, uh, I think it's changing in the next update. But uh, we're not in the next update just yet. So it's fine. Okay, well that was cool. We got ourselves... Oh, let me grab the core. Um, some very advanced components there. It's not going to let me grab the core with the drone. No problem. We're going for another swim. Some very advanced components, which is lovely. And uh, they're going to come in handy at some point. I do want to kind of have a little look-see around the bottom of the lake here because uh, what we really need as well is pentaxid. I haven't seen any out, out on the surface, really. There might be some out on the surface in a particular biome. I just haven't seen any. So what we can do is we can have a little look-see around with the drone. Um, the only thing with the drone is, well, I would love to pick some of this seaweed up for its um, plant protein. I don't think we can. There, pentaxid. I don't think I'm in range of it. But if I turn the ship left and go this way a little bit. Hmm. Difficult to navigate. Yeah. Try it. There it is. Damn it, I can't pick that up with the drone either. What is the point of this thing? Uh, there's, there's three bits of pentaxid, four bits of pentaxid here, so we're going for a swim. We can swim around reasonably okay. Um, I'm holding shift down, so being a little bit reckless with the old stamina usage. Uh, can I pick any of this seaweed up while I'm down here? Oh, this red seaweed you can't pick up. The green stuff you can, but I'm not... Oh, there's some there, right there. Actually, let's get this pentaxid. Uh, there's some plant protein. 
we got a couple of those. I could make another energy bar or save it, bring it back to base and use it for something like useful. Ooh, what's that? I know that. That's alien plasma. Good for meds. Good for meds. Um, more pentaxid around here. Oh, lots more pentaxid. Okay. Right, so that's a bit of time underwater here. We'll pick some more pentaxid up and then uh, some more plant protein. Then let's continue exploring. Oh, this is potentially a fantastic find. The adva abandoned outpost here. I remember this one from other playthroughs. I think it's a vanilla POI. Um, but it has some loot boxes in it. And loot boxes have ingots in them. Hello. What are you attacking? Attacking the base for some reason. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's attacking the base. I don't know why. Um, let's turn you off of anything other than turrets and yeah we'll leave you at that okay there we go there it's so dainty <laughs> all right i'm gonna leave it on just so the turret can defend it if something sneaks up behind it okay i didn't pick up my new sniper rifle I'm like an idiot but fine we'll um we'll figure it out let me offload this stuff in here. We'll disconnect from you for now. Uh, oh, how much perish time have you got? 22. 22 minutes? Yeah, we should be okay. I want that plant protein back home. It's going to be useful. All right, we should be able to get some good stuff from this, guys, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fresh tarantulas. I'll leave it on semi. Oh, thank you, turret. Why? Right. Bug meat? Yep. Meat's back on the menu. Oh, no. I hear horrors. That's never a good noise. Never a good noise. And with these weapons, that is going to be a tough fight. All right, bits and bobs, bits and bobs, bits and bobs. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All good, all good. Hmm, no way through here. All right. Yes, uh, let's check out the other side before we go up this main ramp here. I'll try and remember my way around this thing. Hmm. There's an elevator access there, look. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> There's that noise. I love it, right? <laughs> no? No, just me? Uh, not even me, to be honest. Okay. Um, another container controller. Spider. Big spider. Waste Widow. Is he coming around? There he goes. Lots of eggs and stuff on that guy. More spider egg soup, people. Delicious, right? Scorpions as well. That's not what you want to hear, is it? Scorps. And such. Gasoline. First thing I do when I get back to the base is putting a fridge on that SV. I have to be quick about this to make sure I don't lose out on the crops and meat and stuff that I've taken. It's silly of me to not include it. But just one of those things you overlook in a hurry, I guess. Uh, right, there's another way up here, and I think there's some bits and bobs we can enjoy here as well. Like a T2 projectile pistol. <laughs> Right now, that is good. Uh, yeah, we'll take that milk. Milk? Meds? Yeah, I'll take those as well. We're probably going to need those very soon. <laughs> All right. So that's the bits that we can get to without going down the hole of doom. Hang on. Let me show you the hole of doom. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where are they all? Yep, horror. Horror. There's the core, and there's a loot crate. Um, oh, I tell you what, there is more places we can go without having to go down this hole of doom. And that's up this central elevator here. 
No, I still think there's horrors and stuff I need to deal with, though. And I wish I found this place before I built all those grow plots, because this place would have sorted my grow plot requirements out straight away. Ah! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away. Got him. Yeah, look at all these grow plots, dudes. I don't even think I can carry this. Like, well, I'll eat that straight away. Like, I don't think all of these grow plots would fit in the SV. I'd have to make several trips. See, this would also make an excellent base. Think about it. Look at all the freaking grow plots up here. Why take these out at all? Just take this place over. <laughs> already got base for fuel tanks and generators got a basement core it's got a yard <laughs> a yard um yeah a bit of repair work up here i gotta admit but uh that could be done over time that's a little disappointing plus views the only problem with this location no i'll take that back there is a water source nearby do we really want to move house on the starter planet though seems like a lot of work for something we're probably going to leave fairly soon i don't know i'll think about it i'll think about it uh but right now we've got a hole of doom to deal with and only three shotgun shells left to deal with it cheeky devil cheeky cheeky devil right hang on can i lure lure them lure them maybe it can uh Hi. If I can get a few headshots on them. I might be able to take them out with this little thing. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, two horrors down. Fantastic. Not bad if I may say so myself. Not bad at all. Right, okay, let's go for the core. Let's take that out of action. Shut this thing down before we continue any further. Alien faction. Can I multi-tool it? No, I'm going to have to blow it up. My last three shotgun shells then. Okay. Hey, there we go. Okay, so that's gone. Oh, hello. Flamethrower. Advanced salvaging tool. Hmm, I wonder if that's better than my multi-tool we've got. 78 titanium ingots. Oh, that's beautiful, that is. That is beautiful. That's a thing of beauty. I'll take those. Hmm, flamethrower. What flame do you use? Flamethrower fuel. Okay, not just gasoline. That would have been useful right about now. Yeah. Uh, service charge. Mm, return factor 0. 0.667. Return factor 0. 0.333. Interesting. But I, I'm guessing this guy will only salvage. Oh, he does salvage and retrieve, but he doesn't do the repair stuff. Well, that's okay. I don't think we really use the repair feature on a multi-tool when I'm back at base anyway. Alright, maybe I'll keep that then. Excellent. Salvage. Very good. Alright. Um, That was one. There's another one around the corner back here. And then there's lots of stuff that we can salvage from this, but I'm not going to do that today. Oh. <laughs> You're in trouble now! <laughs> that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I will take that mm, with with hunger. With hunger and excitement, I will take that. Right, have we got anything around here other than a spider? Yeah. The T2 shotgun might actually have ammo in it now. Let me just uh, swap this around. They usually come with a clip, so there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you done... You done screwed up, boy. <laughs> oh, hello. It would be fun to take this over. I think. It would be quite cool to bring this thing back to life. I tell you what, I'll pass the question off to you guys. Should I move into this place and try and restore it? Or do you think I should just get off planet and go find somewhere to live? Uh, because it is a starter planet. And we do want to go out among the stars at some point. You know. Especially over there, and give this bunch of gits a run for their money. But uh, yeah, I'll pass the question off to you. Let me know what you guys think I should do.
in the near future of these episodes. There would be a lot of work in restoring this place, but uh, it could be fun. It could be enjoyable. Anyway, um, let's see what you say. Let's get out of it. Let's get back to base before all that stuff spoils. And then I'll leave this here. Uh, I don't need to waypoint it. It's easy to find. And um, I'll see what you guys say with regards to restoring it or just leaving. In the meantime, though, uh, there's a couple other places I'm going to just scout on the way back to base. But uh, I'll see you at base in a little bit, unless there's something really interesting comes up. All right, so the last thing I want to do today is slap a minigun turret on top of our base here. This is the real deal minigun turret. This is a proper job minigun turret. This is none of those little, like, ooh, you know, oh, little, little Playmobil freaking child minigun turrets. No, no, no. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's, it's a freaking minigun turret. Banj, get over it. <laughs> it's just a minigun turret. Okay, but well, there we go. The base is armed. Armed, properly armed. And we're expecting a Xerox attack soon. Whatever soon means. And, and let's turn that off for predators as well, so that that doesn't just go around shooting everything in range. But uh, that's awesome. We actually have some defenses. Now, if we do, when we, when we get attacked by the Xerox again, I will still go out and meet them and shoot them down. But now I know that at least if I'm sort of half asleep, um, the base can actually defend itself, which is lovely. Always a bonus. Um, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's going to be it for today. But I would say that was a particularly productive episode. Uh, we have got a lot achieved today. We've got things like sniper rifles and shotgun T2s and pistol T2s and you bastards. Look, look at that. I can't plan this stuff. It just happens to me. It really just... Uh, right, fine. Fine, whatever. Okay, well, I guess we're going to get a little Xerox base attack before we call it a day today. Um, let's let's engage... Oh, hello, cheeky. Let's engage the aircraft defense systems. Let's engage night vision because it's bloody dark. Of course, it's dark. It is one of my videos. And they're coming from the direction that I'm pointing in. Um, oh... And it's rocket drones. Okay, this definitely calls for some intervention. If it was uh, troop transport, I'd probably just sit there and wait for it to land and then mow down what was in there because it's a waste of ammo taking down a troop transport. But these guys shoot back, so um, you know we're gonna we're gonna take them down. I mean, they're not gonna stand a chance. I've actually got guns this time, so you know I managed to shoot them down with something that fired BBs the other day. So. <laughs> Now I'm firing actual 15 minute mil bullets at these guys. It is just a turkey shoot. And there they go. Let's get their giblets. And I'm going to end on giblet acquisition. Ah, oh, it's bright, my retinas. Ah! Okay, it's fine. Um, yeah, this is the problem. Like, you've got to have night vision on it. It leaves the freaking torch on. Ah, uh, it's a nightmare. There we go. Giblets. Um, always welcome. Final bit of gibbleting, gibbleting, lovely stuff. There we go. Okay, so base attack thwarted, aircraft proven superior once again. Um, and there we go. Ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. Oh, do let me know. What do you think? Restore the base or just leave it and move off world? Um, it'd be interesting to see what you, you think. Also, let me know what you think about my SV. Love it or hate it? I don't know. Kind of weird looking. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And hopefully... I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.